This is your diamond inside for tonight of failure to give farmers the right message on FISP. As days draw near to this year's Farmers' Day on 7th August 2023, stakeholders countrywide voiced concerns on the uncertainty over government's plans to make changes to the Farmers' Input Support Programme. Last year, during his end-of-year address, President Hichlema hinted about shifting to what is known as the Comprehensive Agriculture Support Program, CASP, that aims to enhance irrigation and mechanization amid sustained issuance of farming inputs. Now, a government that is not short of manpower was expected to implement a vigorous awareness campaign on the looming changes. However, sheer failure to do that is what has fueled speculation which has cast fear in poor farmers that live in far-flung areas and have no independent means to verify details from central government. This is why we are perplexed by Agriculture Minister Ruben Mtolu's comment during the just-ended 95th Agriculture and Commercial Show allaying fears as mere misinformation. Our take is that the job of his office in rank and file is to disseminate the right message on time, especially that they were made by his boss many months ago. Does Mr. Tolo want President Hichlema to hold a press briefing or move on farmers to clarify the matter? Like earlier stated, majority of the 1 million plus beneficiaries of FISP live in remote areas where challenges in connectivity via road and communication is widespread. Hence, one does not need textbook knowledge to know that such gaps limit the flow of information coupled by illiteracy which leads to misinformation. Mr. Minister Sa, go on the ground and tell the farmers in Kaputa, Vubwe, Mapatizia, Kalabo, Zambezi, Luano, Chembe, among others, the very good news that you have on FISP, as opposed to merely uttering statements from the comfort zone of Lusaka, telemed messages on time and disseminate them in all corners of Zambia, because without proper change management, CASP will be rendered irrelevant.